Today we're going to show you how to set up a chick brooder. incubator rental program and we and I have in another video how we made these little brooders so I'm just gonna get it set up we have chicks hatching today one hatched yesterday he's still in the incubator and he's all fluffed up or she I'm not sure what she or he is yet but so I've got my brooder plate I like to store everything together these have already been disinfected I'm, this has been too but it's been sitting around now for a few weeks I'm just give it a quick wipe and then this is super simple so we use this kind of a chick brooder for uh, about anywhere well probably about five to six chicks maybe ten at the most and only for a week until we move them out to the bigger coop we have a brooder out there with you know heating plate and everything all set up and then they could be with the bigger chickens in their own little corner watching them be chickens and it's worked really well for us so far so what I do is I take paper towels and I line the brooder with the paper towels instead of um, shavings That's about right. and I just change these out several times over the next couple of days and so I just double layer this here and the reason we we've done shavings but um, I've heard that it's better for the chicks to not have shavings for the first few days some people use puppy pads and I don't because I think that's just I can throw this in the compost like this is compostable or like deep biodegradable and puppy pads aren't plus they get kind of expensive so I just like to use regular old paper towels and then for the first few days I don't use this part at all Actually, I'm just take this off here I've got some chick starter in here Put that in there and now when when I put the chicks in here I will sprinkle some on the paper towels for them to find until they get used to um, see if I can line these up now there we go that just screws on like that so for the chick food in there this is not the chick water that I was going to use because I washed a chick water So I'm not going to put any water in here anyway, but I'm going to show you what I do. Um, so this is just a one quart or one liter, one liter here in Canada, a one liter chick waterer. It's this part screws off. It's brand new, so it's a little bit tight. So and then you just fill this up with water, put the lid on, and then you quickly turn it upside down. And there's a little hole here. The water comes out. If you've had chicks before, you will be familiar with that and then I always make them up some electrolyte this is vitamins and electrolytes plus it's a little bag here and it doesn't have a brand or anything it just says vitamins and electrolytes and it's got all the little things that give them a really good and I think there's even probiotics in here lactobacillus and yeah it's all kinds of good stuff in here so I like to have I have a two liter jug of water here and I just use an eighth of a teaspoon. That's all you need. And just put a little bit in here. So yeah, I said it's a chick brooder setup, but this is how I set up the whole thing for when chicks are hatching. I get this ready while they're hatching usually. And then back in the container. And you see. And then for the first, well, until this is used up, I will fill the water 
and use this water for the first few days and that gives them a real good start to life. It's got all the vitamins and minerals they need. So that's ready and then like I said I would probably put that in there but I'm not going to because I will do it when it's time to put chicks in it. Actually, it looks like dish could use a little bit more now that it's put together. I like to make it nice and easy for the chicks to... Oh, no, I made a bit of a mess. That's okay, they'll find it. There. My hairs. There we go. And then I'm going to set up the brooder plate. So this is... This is the Titan brooder plate. There's different ones you can get from different companies pointy end on these one goes up and then there's just a little switch in here so I'm going to get this set up and I'm going to plug it in because like I said I have chicks hatching today and I want it takes a few hours to heat up so I will make sure it's nice and warm when I take them out of the incubator and numbers on here. I just didn't pay attention when I was putting it in. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be too high, too low. I never remember what I set it on, but there we go. up in the ceiling. I've got uh, right beside me a duck brooder that I have to get ready to because we're getting ducklings and technically I could keep them together but I'm not going to um, unless I have to. There we go. So that is all set up and I'm just going to let that heat up. Put the lid on it so the children and pets can stay out and that's it. That's all there is to it super simple. It gives them enough room for the first few days and I like to keep them in the house for the first few days so I can keep an eye on them, make sure that everybody's drinking and eating and once I get the chicks in here I'll show you how that goes.
Although I heard some peeping in there, I haven't seen any movement, so I decided to take those other chicks out. I'm giving these two eggs a little bit longer time. One, The brown one was the cracked egg, and the other one wasn't. And they both showed signs of life on the last candling day. But I'm just going to give them a couple more days and see what happens. I don't know what's going on, but I, I have a suspicion that they died somehow in in their shell and that's it so well I'll let you know I'll, I'll leave a note in the description box what happened with the chicks and uh, or with the last two eggs and we'll see you in the next video